the best focus tree in Hearts of Iron 4. I get this. It's not even in Europe. The best focus tree in Hearts of Iron 4 is a cross of ocean and then another ocean and a continent and then another ocean and a continent and here we go mexico it's hard to describe why the mexican focus tree is so good however one aspect that definitely puts it above the rest is the ability to declare war immediately and do some big conquests some big coring and have no one bother you that's right i get to conquer the entirety of central america the caribbean and south america unopposed who's gonna stop me huh who is gonna stop me nobody this must have changed in one of the recent patches however i'm not gonna argue free conquests oh don't mind if i do <laughs> delete the army who needs an army right boom mills oh yeah we need trains that's the thing and wrenches a navy let's exercise it indefinitely don't forget to repair very important first national focus let's fix the issues inside of mexico and my goodness there's a lot of issues but let's start off by siding with the revolution and the revolution we're going to go with this time is not actually the leftists the commies we're actually going to go with the gold shirts which are the fascists plan ahead let's go so yes i'll be taking advantage of all the mexico focuses it's just ridiculous how op mexico is well i say op but you start the game and well everything's wrong no war support no stability and uh oh yeah oh yeah everything's going wrong but usually i go communist and dismantle the church uh this time around we're actually gonna give power to the church the church will guide us to a holy victory power to the church assertive church we have ended attempts to stamp out catholic church in mexico by allowing the priests a little autonomy they will respect our control of the state and refrain from seeking to destabilize us well, that's not going to last very long because here comes the revolution this is like an unusual move but we're going to get an agency even though we've got no civilian factories oh we have zero now okay when we're building an agency we lose all five so now we have a net gain of zero the mexican gdp is stagnating legacy of revolution and we're going to start with the gold shirts which gives division recovery rate planning speed and boost our ideology that's the one we're going to go for this is the first time i've ever done this so i just kind of wanted to try something different a revolutionary right-wing catholic mexico filthy and the spy we're going to go with is this lady we're going to pop her into colombia colombia is probably one of the hardest nations to break other than well maybe peru and maybe the caribbean is going to be a bit tricky as well but i'm going to show you all the strats to make it dead easy free factories free core free conquests this is the video for you trains give me trains trucks give me trucks hispanic culture tacos and burritos for everyone we're going to be exporting those to latin and south america oh you'll see we're going to see some crazy fusion food in the future boys okay one of the issues you're gonna to have to deal with is mexico is bad stability so start fixing that now let's get on those worker conditions next up we've got hispanic alliance which moves us all the way to catholic church which is kind of good because it reduces consumer goods however unfortunately it will cause an insurrection so it's something we're gonna to have to deal with catholic the hated constitution of 1917 has been undone the catholics are seizing power once again okay i've made a mistake apparently it's not a problem you need to have completed purge the bureaucracy women's suffrage end the land act royal dutch shell or reform the castillo guard all right okay so i guess we're not going to get a revolution we begin the march southwards that's right 1937 get to declare war as mexico you can't argue with that can you However, we've got bigger fish to fry. That's right, you get rebellions as Mexico because you're having an issue on the border with your rebels. And oh no, civil war. The junta has arrived. Okay, time to spawn a bunch of emergency cavalry to save the day. How many divisions have they got? Let's have a look. Three to 17. Ooh. Okay, half of them will be deployed here. Another half of them. Okay, never mind. They're all going to be deployed there. <laughs> I don't have a choice. The Freud, I'm on the front line. Oh, go, go, go. I'm going to be totally real with you. I'm actually kind of su surprised they spawn there. They usually spawn here. Huh. Okay, put them aggressive. Go, go, go. And snake the front lines. Cut them off. You know, you meant to save this for like if America declares war on you, but this is apparently classed as a defensive war. So execute the coastal defense plan. The coast, that's right. We're going to defend the coast. Yeah, that makes sense. So just keep pushing forward. Looking for gaps in the front line. Boosh. Boom. Infantry. And slap on a little bit of artillery and that will do quite nicely begin the south american conquests okay all the central american nations are pretty weak so just puncture through you'll do fine easy next 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 
Next. Next. Time to integrate the South. Now, Mexican clay. Colombia, one of the trickier nations to invade. So be careful and be prepared. Push for the capital. Two boys in the North, two in the South. Good luck. All right, let's go. Landing in the south. Beautiful. Push for the capital. Landing in the north. Push down. Push for the capital. To be fair, all you really need is the capital. The rest of it, you don't need to worry about. Because the capital is in mountains and it's across a river. It's so hard to break. So the capital is what you want. Push. Another one. Don't forget to take their navy. Very important. Okay, Venezuela is quite a tricky one too. Keep the front line short. Let them push towards the south and do a big fat naval invasion in the north. Now all the territory's been cored. Oh, look at all these factories. So many. Trust me, you want to core as quickly as possible. It'll pay off in the long run. Trust me. Venezuela. Oh, you're giving me a freebie. Oh, thank you so much, AI. Thank you. Open capital. Just give up now. Just give up. Take the nation. They've not got a navy? What? Ecuador's an easy one. You only need about five divisions. Don't send more than you need. Otherwise, you'll create a traffic jam. Just go, go, go. The center has been liberated. Oh, don't forget about the Galapagos as well. I always forget about that. All right. This is another tough one to crack. Aggressive order. You don't need to hold much in the north. And then you do a big, juicy naval invasion in the south. Okay, at this point, stop making mills. You need civvies now. The backbone of Mexican industry. Commandeer more trains. Trust me, you don't want supply problems now. This is the worst time for supply problems. And technically, uh, we should be working on armored trains too. Let's fix that now. If your air force isn't very strong, you're going to get logistical strike. You're going to find yourself in a logistical strike nightmare. In that case, take care of it now. Get you some armor on those trains. All right, we're good to go. Let's go. Off we go. Army to the north. Just push for Lima in the south. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to land. No, but we're pinning some troops in, so that's something, I guess. Don't worry about them pushing in the north. Don't worry. Let them commit troops to a front line that have got no troops on them. You've got your eyes set on their two main cities in the south. That's right. Peru has only two victory points. Isn't that funny? And another naval invasion. And where have the divisions gone? You're kind of better off pushing their front lines first, then doing the naval invasion maybe a month later. Because otherwise, they just defend the coast, which is smart of the AI, I suppose. Yoink, I'm taking your navy. Bolivia. It's funny watching South America in Hoi 4, because these are areas you very rarely invade, very rarely even hear about in a regular Hoi game. That's right, these countries do actually exist. Boom. All right, World War II has started officially. So be aware now, world tension is high enough to cause some of these nations you'll invade to join fast. Actions. Just be aware. It's a small chance, but it can happen. You've been warned. Boom. Chile's got a good navy too. Yoink. And now for something a little different. Well, that's not what's different, but we are going to invade the Caribbean. This is what's different. Mass assault. The Falcons is mine. Oh, wait, hang on. No, it's still British. Never mind. Yoink. That is how to increase your navy size by about times 10 just by conquest and stealing their navies during wars. <laughs> it's so easy. I love it. Okay, odds of Paraguay joining the common turn. The stocks are very high. And, oh, looks like a no. What? Mexico? What's the font Mexico doing there? I'm like, oh, oh. Painting the map green. There are a lot of cool options on this focus tree to gain extra manpower. First of all, we have the Syndicate to Youth, giving 1% recruitable. And also down here, Cadelio's private armies that you defeated in the Civil War. Don't forget that. Uh, you can also recruit them. Uh, it doesn't make any sense, but welcome to the Mexican focus tree. It's OP, it's strange, it's weird. And I love it. Okay, I've done stuff that the church doesn't really like right now. And the church is a little bit angry. So they will cause a civil war. The atheist insurrection. That's because I ended the land reform. Just be aware of that. So either boost your stability to 60%, which I'll admit is quite difficult. Or you just relegate the church down a little bit by going for a powerful church. I think it's probably the better option. And also do everything you can to boost your stability some more. I'll admit, it's tricky. The stability is something that's really hard to come by for Mexico. Romania is asking us to join our faction. <laughs> uh, oh, man. The chaotic evil in me is saying, do it. No, resist. <laughs> I love these church powers. This is funny. Attend a public mass. Ah, something that Catholics should be doing regularly. <laughs> Gives me stability. Yeah, why not? 
Kuba. Another one that's a little bit difficult to land on due to... Well, there's not a lot of places to land because they'll have the division practically everywhere. If you get one landing, though, you'll be in a good way. Grab a port, connect up all your armies, and you're good to go. Go for the capital, and you should be good to go. Yoink. And don't forget, if you're going for mass mobilization, why not getting that 5% recruitable for free? Now manpower is going to go through the roof. And to be fair, that's the real reason I went for that path. How much manpower would you like? Unlimited. I like that number. If you don't get this one on your first try, I forgive you. Because this is a difficult one. Any joy? Any joy? And... Oh, it's a win. Winner, winner. Chicken. Dinner. The neighbor as well. GG. And while you're at it, pour them up. I can only play spies in California. And the only middle state is, is it Illinois. To this day, I don't know how spies work. And do you know what? I'm totally okay with that. My favorite focus in all of Hearts of Iron 4. Mexico, the inventor of the television. Okay, you know what's coming here, right? So there's plans happening around these little areas. Here, 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 and here. This is well defended. And, oh, here's the biggie. Hey, this is the biggie. Okay, the wrong way of doing this is to go for recede Mexican session. The AI is aware there's a war goal forming. So that means they'll put troops on the front line, forming a massive hard wall here that'll be near impossible to break because it'll consist of three or four divisions deep and you'll be bashing against entrenched troops. Not a good idea. So, so to confuse the AI, what you do, disband your faction, join the Axis, and then has to join the Italian-American War. What? That doesn't make sense. But regardless, here we go. Boom. It starts. British Honduras secured. Panama Canal secured. This one's always hard to break. Not a lot you can do about that. Trinidad and Tobago secured. Pushing hard into Guyana. We need this because we need the aluminium. Secured. Okay, the final objective is a little bit more difficult. We're going to have to bait them forward. Oh, it's working. They're coming. They're coming. And we've got so much manpower and so much equipment. Just keep training. 12% recruitable population. Look at all those bonuses. Private armies. Syndicist youth. Extensive conscription. Human wave offensive. You have issues with manpower. So much as Mexico. But not in this timeline. Oh no. The AI loves to stack divisions here. And this is why we made a few tactical bombers. Just so we can bomb this area and take it off them. And it is... Oh, come on. Secured. No. There, there we go. Done. All right. Now you can join the front line. Oh, and it's going so well. So every playthrough I've done so far, whenever I control... Hello, darkness, my old friend. The Caribbean, and I'm projecting my naval power with all the combined navies of South America and Central America. Uh, I never have issues with naval invasions, ever. One of the two armies. Might as well convert this to our more ideal division template. Convoy raid the Caribbean, why not? All right, we had too many armies. We had to disband the one in the Caribbean and one of the extra ones we had to disband. Because right now we're having a bit of a logistical problem. We're having low supply. We're not dealing enough damage. We're going to be in a pickle. So we need to deal with this immediately. Redeem Aslan. I'm going to go with that pronunciation. The Mexican people living in the liberated regions of the United States have a dream of a government which does not oppress them for their ancestry, place of birth, or the language that they speak at home. That dream has become a reality. Core, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and four others have now become a state of the Catholic Mexico. Losses in this offensive, 2.2 million manpower. We have manpower to throw away. The American Empire has collapsed, and so has our manpower reserves. Oh, damn. Immediately when I core Mexican America, I'm going to call it that, 2.2 million manpower just appears out of nowhere. Amazing. The great empire has been shattered. The remaining, sole remaining superpower, Mexico. That is a work of art. Axis conquest of North America completed it. As ahistorical as this game may be, some things are inevitable, and that is Mussolini getting deposed. Lol. One video? No, two videos. This is the video for you. Right here. Click it.